Heather, we know groundwater is so important. Yeah, it is. Groundwater is one of the biggest water storage systems that we have in the state. It makes up 30 to 40 percent of our water supply in a normal year and close to 60 percent during a dry year. So you can kind of think of it as an emergency savings account. Now that account has been severely depleted over the last several decades, but now scientists, water agencies and farmers are working together to help rebuild that vital savings. Dealing with drought has been incredibly stressful to the point where I, I guess I've had anxiety over it, sometimes despair. That's reality for Christine Gemberly, an almond farmer in the San Joaquin Valley. Like so many other California farmers, she faces the consequences of drought every day. But when recent storms filled a nearby canal to the brim, I thought that's going to the river. She was inspired to take action to help her farm and her neighbors. Offering up her 40 acres of orchard to be intentionally flooded for a process called flood managed aquifer recharge. UC Davis hydrology expert Dr. Thomas Harder says that recharging that groundwater is critical to overcoming the current drought and building up insurance ahead of the next one. The only water that's not spoken for are these huge flood flows. And so now we're trying to figure out how do we take advantage of these fast, furious flows in in a short period of time. And many farm fields have the perfect soil to efficiently send surface water below ground. Gemperly says that even though this orchard has been equipped with its own flood irrigation infrastructure for decades, she couldn't just open up the gates from the canal to allow water to flow in. That took coordination with her local irrigation district. And within less than a week, I was able to open my gate up and open the gates into the field and start flooding. She and her brother Eric have done that twice in the past week. Even with additional rain, standing water seeped completely into the ground within hours. Gemperly says that in her case, the benefits outweighed the risks, which included potentially losing trees in high winds. This is the first year she's opted to flood her fields. And while there hasn't yet been a notable jump in the water table beneath the orchard, Gemperly says that she's optimistic. Absolutely. This is, um, I think, a game changer for the valley. And Bay Area nonprofit Sustainable Conservation wants to help facilitate more relationships between farmers like Gimperly and their irrigation districts. Groundwater recharge at scale could solve up to 25% of the San Joaquin Valley's groundwater overdraft alone. Meanwhile, researchers are looking for ways to link Northern California's surface and groundwater systems. How do we bring water from where it's flooding to where we want to recharge groundwater? In series, I'm meteorologist Heather Waldman for KCRA 3 News. And flood irrigation is just one way that we can intentionally recharge our groundwater. Sacramento's Regional Water Authority has been building up a groundwater bank that can serve the metro area. About 500 acre feet of water has been banked each week this month. That's enough water for 1,500 homes every year. So how about that? Yeah, we always get the questions about the surface reservoirs yeah. and the snowpack, and that's all important. Right. But neat to see what's going on below ground there, too. And all that surface precipitation definitely helps with the groundwater recharge. It does to an extent, but that's why we're sort of building up these intentional processes because it, it more. doesn't quite soak in fast enough on its own. Gotcha. Yeah. Thanks, Heather. Cool stuff. That is fascinating. Kind of a win-win.